Welcome back. It's time for our motivation segment. Oluwa Tovi Ali is a powerhouse in business and personal transformation. Now, he's an international award-winning capacity development trainer and a revolutionary speaker. He's a Destiny Codes coach, and there's a Destiny Code that we need to key into eventually. We'll be talking about that. Uh, but he's also been equipping leaders to unlock their full potential with a track record of innovation and impact. Today on Motivation, we're talking about opportunity in chaos, how to spot business gold in uncertain times. Now, this is a very fine line we're going to be touching on here because when you think of chaos, you think of something being disrupted. Mm. You know, you don't think of order in any way. And business yeah. should have some sort of order. Mm. But then we have heard about uh, different countries that are suffering from conflict or even war and the fact that there are many billionaires being made during those, those times. times. Very true, very true. In fact, Warren Buffett once said that buy when there's blood on the streets wow. and sell when, you know, everybody's happy. Wow. So actually, whenever there is chaos, like you said, those who understand how to bring order into chaos, they, make the, they milk out the opportunities that a lot of people are not able to take advantage of. Mm. Like even the situation we find ourselves in Nigeria today, there are a lot of opportunities. We'll be touching on some of them as we go on. Okay, so let's even really touch on the situation in the country today. The most chaotic of things mm. now is uh, the cost of fuel. Mm. Um, Tell me. The, the, <laughs> the issue of the dollar. Yes. Uh, and of course, uh, inflation, inflation, food crisis. Food crisis. Mm. There's just so much. A lot. So should we touch on, which one should we touch on first? Food? Money or fuel? We can one. touch on all. Okay. So, so one of the things I want to quickly say about businesses that is important is that chaotic situations, like you've said, actually bring out the best in businesses. New businesses rise. Okay. I, for instance, I can, I can tell, let me even give an example. If you remember during COVID, there was a lot of disruption that happened sure. during COVID, right? But COVID actually created new opportunities. The Netflix people are shouting up yeah. and down today. It yeah. was COVID that made them. They actually started as just DVD yeah. Yeah. rental services, yeah. and they switched. There are companies even in Nigeria, like Flutterwaves and some other ones, yeah. that they used that opportunity. I myself, my, what was my first time on this show? It was during, it was COVID. during COVID. But yeah. what happened? There was something I did that I innovated. I was able to like show slides on TV that yeah. has never been done before. Sure. So one of the things people need to understand is that, you see, as long as there are human needs, mm. right? Even in chaos, the human needs actually skyrocket. The only challenge is that chaos is kind of like a differentiator. It changes customer behavior. It changes customer needs. So one of the things people need to understand is that whenever there is chaos, the opportunities are different. So you might need to pivot. You might need to or check what evolve. those pain points are exactly and then take advantage of it. Let's even touch on petrol, for instance. Now I think this is the era of CNG gas. Hmm. I saw, I saw a particular uh, video, I yeah. think some days ago, about a generator that was made. You trust our Igbo guys in yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. They've already created one generator. Uh, I think it's a 62 kVA generator. Wow. And normally, if you want to fuel that generator and run it for three days, you spend about 2 million naira just wow. on diesel. Wow. But this generator now with CNG, uh, CNG gas, you spend just 90,000. Look at the disparity wow. in that. Wow. That wow. tells you that even in the power sector, there are opportunities right now. Mm. Even in the food sector, the opportunities right now. For instance, let me give even a free, you know, a free idea for those who are able to run with it. Right now, if you are able to find a way to get food, uh, uh, you know, crops straight yes. from the farmers, um, and there's a way you can even do use technology to ensure that, let's say, like all the people on a particular street or a particular yeah. area can buy a big ration and you share it, so that the logistics you just do it once instead yeah. of. This person ordering order you, another this, person ordering yeah. you, just say, okay, this whole street, there's a way you can map it together sure. and go straight to the farmers. You will make a killing in this chaotic situation. Mm. You will even provide the food. It will be cheaper. You will even run out of stock quickly. The demand will be so high. So, but one of the things that happens is during chaos, while some people are <coughs> panicking, some people are thinking. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Um, there was something that happened over the weekend. My, my gas at home oh, finished okay. and there was no one to go to go and buy it for me. Okay. And I was wondering what to do. And I just remember that someone had sent me a link on WhatsApp oh. talking about someone who does uh, gas to homes. Oh, really? So uh, gas 247. And they actually come, pick up your cylinder, go it. fill it, 
and bring it back to you. Interesting. And the, the selling point was that they're going to do everything in 40 minutes. 40 minutes. And wow. I was wondering how on earth they were going to get it done mm -hmm. in 40 minutes. But they found a pain point for some mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. People need it now. Yes. They probably don't have the time to go get it mm -hmm. and come back in good time. Mm -hmm. And they solved the problem for Very me. Very true. So now, <clears throat> the term chaos mm. um, is an alarming one for many people. Yes. But then... There are a lot of people who are stuck in their ways in business, mm. trying to keep everything going smoothly. They become uh, dinosaurs very soon. They go extinct. So that's the issue. Mm. Uh, a lot of people don't recognize when they're lying fallow. Mm. So how do we uh, expose to them that what they're doing isn't working? So, so, so the thing is this. When chaos happens, you even know it's not working because you start losing customers. Government will start coming against you. You start seeing that your profit is dwindling. For instance, when we started, uh, when Jawo started, Jawo started with crypto. Okay. But government came and was like, you know, ban on this, ban on that, yeah. you know. It didn't make any sense. Well, okay, what do we do? We now saw opportunity for FX. We yeah. tried, oh, African countries. It yeah. didn't work. So one of the things that happens during chaos is that you will not get it right the first time. You need to experiment. Okay. So we experimented with uh, FX transfer. Oh, how much is uh, Kenyan shillings now? Yeah. Can we find a way to get it cheaper? Yeah. That didn't work until we realized that there was a huge opportunity in loans. Okay. For instance, yes, we are in that. We give loans to PSA agents and yeah, you know yeah. market traders and that right now also anyone that is giving credit sure will also blow in mm. this current economy mm. so one of the things you need to realize once you see your profits are dwindling you see that customer behavior spending habits has changed sure. find out what those pain points are like you have mentioned yeah. experiment until you get it there's no one that in fact if you get it the first time it's it's mm. a fluke because you will not be able to replicate it. So you might need to experiment until you get the right niche and the right service that your customer needs in that chaotic situation. It's actually interesting because <clears throat> another chaotic part sector now is uh, real estate, uh, rentals. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and uh, there was uh, this young lady I, I spoke to about two weeks ago, okay. and she and her partners had developed a loan facility for people that want to rent. Oh, so they're providing rental loans mm. for to be paid back over two years. Um, interesting. And, That's smart. And it's it's so it's so interesting because um, they they had started out with another type of, of financial business mm -hmm. and it wasn't working. And then they just discovered that the people that were coming to approach them were always looking for money for rent, exactly. rental for shops, rental for mm. homes. Mm. Um, and most of the time, people don't have the finance on hand. Not even now in this present economy. So people are always looking for money. That, that's very smart of them. So, yeah. I mean, and, and, and I must say this, even for the big companies, yeah. during chaotic times, yeah. their biggest disadvantage is their bureaucracy and their size. During chaotic times, you need to be agile. You need to be able to think on your feet. You need to be able to pivot as quickly as possible. You need to be able to try this. If it doesn't work, you try something else and you keep going until you get it. So business is not for the lazy. You know, one of the challenges we have in Nigeria is that people sing about money, people confess money, people sow for money, yeah. but they don't want to work for money. Mm. They don't want to work for money. So, and even as an entrepreneur, you will work your ass off, especially during chaotic times. But once you get it, you get it. In fact, it will almost be like blood money because you have, you have tapped into a niche, you have tapped into an opportunity that a lot of people don't even know exists because why they are panicking, like I said, yeah. you are thinking. So interesting. Now, Toby Ali is always with us every Monday for motivation. Uh, he's been with us. Uh, for the past few weeks and it's been very very interesting hopefully uh, if you missed anything you can always visit youtube just search for tvc entertainment wake up nigeria and you'll catch past clips thank you so much Tom. a pleasure as always